Hello and welcome to this quick tip on how to create a cream simulation in Blender. Um, you might notice that I did switch to Mac because I was having some Kodak problems and I was editing my videos on Mac anyway, so I um, just decided to start using it. Um, so today we're going to be doing a cream simulation and um, you're going to be uh, using a fluid simulation, which you might not expect because, um, let's see, I think, there it goes, um, because you might think it, you'd want to use a soft body simulator, but that doesn't work as well because you can't split it off if you wanted to, um, say, like, cut it off with a spoon or something, and it also doesn't work as well with, um, just the simulation itself, so it's much easier to use fluid. So first of all, we have to make the domain, and oh wait, let me turn my screencast keys. Um, good. So uh, yeah, make a domain, and um, then click on fluid. And we're going to be making it a domain. And let's set the quality to 100. Preview to 0. Because we don't, we're not going to be viewing the preview. We're going to be viewing the final. And how long is this going to be? We're going to set it to about, I don't know, 50 frames. That's how long it takes to drop something from here to here. Um, so that's how long in seconds you show seconds, and that's two seconds. And you want to make sure that this number matches the length of your animation, because otherwise it'll be slow motion fluid, which is not what I want for now. Unless you do want that, and then slow it down. Um, and we don't want... Uh, well, click on honey first, and then set exponent to zero, um, and base to ten. Now, this is going to be setting the vossicity, I think, vossosity, I think is how you pronounce it, and that's like the thickness of the fluid. So, the higher it is, the more jelly-like, and the lower, the more runny fluid-like. So, what well, if you put it at zero? It'll be like water I think so um, and make sure not uh, put exponent down to zero otherwise it'll put it to the negative tenth times that number so um, it'll make it smaller and don't worry about either of these fluid boundaries we want partial slip but turn the friction down um, Unless you want a lot of friction and sort of stick to the sides, but um, it I think it looks better without um, subdivisions, and we don't want any tracer particles. Okay, now we're going to be using making our fluid, and we're going to just create a Suzanne, and let's set it to fluid. Fluid, and we want both. Okay, um, so that'll be creating uh, a F Suzanne mesh to be simulated as the fluid. So uh, let me bake this. Let me pause the recording first, though, because it's going to take forever. Uh, by the way, the bake button is right here. Okay, I didn't bake the entire thing because this um, machine is a lot slower. Uh, yeah, you might be wondering why I didn't wasn't using Mac before, and the reason is because uh, it's it's about half the speed of the other one. But um, the other one was starting to have a lot of problems, so I switched over to this one. Anyway, um, here let me delete this monkey. 
because after you simulate it, you don't need the original fluid anymore. And here's what it looks like. And frame dropping. Frame dropping. So yeah, it really, really does look like cream. I mean, you, if you go frame by frame, you can see like it, it, it sorts, sort of forms up there. Mm. Looks really neat. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, hit the like button. Uh, if you want more tutorials like this, hit subscribe. And if you've got any suggestions, um, go ahead and tell me in the comments. So thanks for watching, and bye.